hello this is Reza from Redacad and in this video I'm going to talk about how to use all uh, the DAX function all inside a DAX expression in Power BI. Let's see how it works. You can download this file, uh, before I start, you can download this file from the link down in the description below, which is for my blog article. Um, I have a sample file. This file has uh, four tables, promotion, product, customer, these are dimension tables, and the fact internet sales, which is my sales table. And they have like one too many relationship each to this uh, sales table. Um, here I have two slicers, one for promotion, one for uh, color, which belongs to the product. And I have a table he visual here with English education belongs to customer table and the sales measure. The sales measure that I have here is um, just some of the sales amount, nothing really complicated, just some of the sales amount. So when we have a tax measure in Power BI, um, DAX measure is affected by the filters coming from filters, slicers, other charts, or even other fields in that visual. Here you can see that this sum of sales is filtered by promotion from the promotion table, color from the product table, and English education from the customer table. This is how DAX measures are usually working. They are uh, dynamically affected by all filters uh, in the report, in other visuals, which we call that combination of filters, the filter context. Now, all is one of the functions that um, you can use it to uh, kind of ignore some of the filters coming through the filter context. I have uh, explained all in another video, which you can again find the link down in the description below from my blog article. This video is not about explaining what all is in details. Um, it's about how you can use it for different uh, filtering options. If you haven't used all before, all is ignoring filters coming from a specific table. For example, if I use all with uh, this uh, type of expression. So I'm saying that calculate that sales va value, whatever it is, but for all dim customer, inside all you pass an, an input table and the input table here is all and I'm using it inside calculate. So basically this is saying that calculate the sales, but considering this filter, consider that this is for the entire customer table. When I say that, when my calculation is like that, uh, when I bring it here in my visual, in my table visual, you can see that this, regardless of what English education we are dealing with, it's always this value, which is like the total of, uh, of the sales for all education categories. However, the filters coming from color, which is belongs to product, affect that. All the filter that comes from promotion would affect it, right? Uh, so only the filters that are coming from English education, which belongs to dim customer, uh, won't affect. And that is how all works. So saying that all of this table means that ignore any filter coming from this table, which is a good way if you want to compare something against total. For example, you might want to compare high school sales versus the total sales here and calculate the percentage. That is one of the most common way of calculating percentage. Uh, you can achieve the same thing with, uh, let's say, another table. Here I have another expression, which the only difference is that here, instead of product, instead of customer table, I'm passing product table. This is saying that all the product, which means that the, this slicer won't affect this calculation if I use that expression. So I'll uh, bring that here that calculation. So you can see that here English education actually affects that, but doesn't matter which color I select. The sales all product column is always showing the same values regardless of whatever I select from this column, right? Uh, which basically means that this does not filter that one. The filters coming from color 
or anything from the product will be ignored because our expression was saying that calculated for all dim product. So basically, if you want to ignore filters coming from a, from a table, you can use that in all something like that. But if you want to, let's say, ignore filters coming from two tables, that is also not complicated. You can use it this way. In calculate, you can have two or even more than that uh, filters. And uh, for example, if I want this to not get filtered by anything from customer table or by anything from product table, I can use it this way. Calculate sales for all team customer and all team product. So if I use this in here, I'll just bring that one over here and remove the other one. So if I bring it here, you can see that this won't be filtered by education and it won't be filtered by color as well. However, if I change um, the promotion, this will filter that, right? So this is a way that you can ignore filters coming from two or more tables. What if you want to ignore uh, filters coming from all the tables? Um, in this case, let's say my measure value, which is this sales value, the sales amount itself coming from this table, coming from the fact table. So if I say all fact table, then it will ignore any filters coming from other tables. It would be actually the sales for the entire fact table, which you can say it this way. Remove this one and I'll bring this one and this is the expression. So I'm saying that calculate sales, but for all fact table. You see that most of these is just the table that I pass as an input changing. So when I say all fact table, this would be like the total sales regardless of anything. So it doesn't matter what I select, it's always $29 million, the result. There is another way to filter it um, and say ignore, um, um, let's say unfiltered, ignore any filters coming from any tables. This way is only limited to this table. What if this value is combination of values coming from multiple tables? In that case, you can use something like this. Using all without any parameters, without any input tables, means that uh, all the tables will be considered uh, ignoring Filter. So this means that if I have this value coming from multiple tables, this would be ignoring them all. There are other variations of all, like all except, which you can say give me everything but except filters coming from this, um, this field. That way you can pass some of them or use all inside a filter and then um, specify a custom filter on it, which would then kind of change the way that the filtering works. Uh, those are more, let's say, advanced version of using it. Uh, this was more about how you know which table you should pass to the all. Uh, I'll explain about those in other videos later. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have weekly videos of Power BI and AI.